With only seven major storied basketball programs in the nation, Indiana is one of the top. Hoosier Nation follows their beloved team across the country, most of those fans being students, some of them coming to Indiana for the sole reason of basketball. After all the suffering in this season's number one ranking, the students with the season basketball tickets are only getting 10 of the 16 games. What are your guys' thoughts about only getting 10 of the 16 games this season for your season tickets? Uh, I mean, it's understandable given like the popularity of the program. So many people want tickets, but I mean, I don't know. It's it's understandable. It's disappointing, but I understand. Yeah, like you said, they're in such high demand that it's only fair that they distribute them that way. Uh, well, I don't think they should have oversold. They should have prepared like ahead of time. But I'd rather have 10 than no games. So um, It's really disappointing. Uh, I've still gone out and paid overpriced to go to try to go to every game. I feel like the the Purdue and North Carolina games are going to I'm gonna have to pick up a few more shifts to be able to afford those, but some way I'll get them. I don't like the seating priority. I mean, I think it should be up based on people that have like have been loyal, like more people that are gonna go to the games, not just go there with their friends, but like more of true basketball people. How do you feel about the people that buy the tickets for the social aspect and go to just hang out with their friends and sometimes don't even go to all the games? It's kind of a shame that people buy the tickets and then they don't use them. Like, they buy them and don't go to half the games, they'll go to two or three of the big games. Like, you should be able to individually buy like a package like that so people who want all the games can get the tickets they want. Uh, that part, that, that kind of that makes me mad because you want to try to get everybody there so you make it as loud as possible, but uh, that's going to happen. So there's nothing like there's nothing you can really do about that. So I think that's really like pretty low of them. I mean, you're taking away from people that actually want to be there, and if they're just going just to be with their friends, they can do that somewhere else. They don't have to go to the games. I mean, they can just give their tickets to somebody else. Do you have any other solutions that you think that the athletic department could do to make sure that people who are actually going to go and enjoy the games would be able to get all the games? It's too hard to decide who actually uses the tickets and who don't. I guess you could like uh, look at past, like who's scanned their tickets in and actually gone to all the games. Uh, that's a good question. I don't, I don't really know how you can eliminate that. I'm sure you can come up with a good way, but I don't, I don't know. I don't have the solution. <laughs> Though it's a clear problem, there is still no clear solution, and it's still Indiana basketball, and fans are still going to come out to the games. From inside Cook Hall, this is Allie Hossfeld, IU SportCom.